A sense of depth in a scene can still be achieved even without the use of vanishing points and orthogonals. A landscape without any obviously geometrically shaped man-made objects still has perspective, but how do you show it? This is where atmospheric perspective comes in. Due to the fact that our planet has a gaseous atmosphere, light is absorbed into the air the farther it travels through it. Just as the sky is blue due to shorter wavelength light scattering in the upper atmosphere, the same is true for haze the further we look out to the horizon. The farther away an object is, the more blue in tone and less contrasty it will appear. Our brains interpret this haziness as a mark for distance, even if the more distant object is larger than the one closer up. Use this to great effect in your outdoor scenes to help realistically push depth even further. Remember that the color of haze also changes with the time of day based on the position of the sun. During the afternoon, haze can be more white to blue, while in the evening it can turn anywhere from orange, red, and even purple. If you're not doing a colored picture, let's say just a drawing with lines, you can still indicate the presence of haze by making much thinner, light lines for distant objects, and use thicker, heavier lines for close objects to help push the difference. Colors can be used to push depth in a scene if it's utilized properly. A classic example is bright red versus blue. Red is a very commanding color, and at full value appears brighter than blue. Red comes forward while blue recedes. When these two colors are overlaid, it almost appears as though the red swatch is floating above the blue one. The same can be said for the value of a color as well. When a brighter color is put next to a darker one, the brighter one will always appear closer in our minds. This doesn't mean that you should make your illustrations with high contrast light and dark red and blue colors. It's just something to keep in mind. Remember that sunlight tends to be warm, while shadows tend to be cooler in hue. If you're coloring a scene, you can use these color principles to create noticeable divisions of space in your scene, lending to a better sense of perspective. It goes without saying that the farther away an object gets, the smaller it gets too. But remember to use scale to your advantage. Place objects in your scene that the viewer can relate to in order to get a sense of where they're standing or how big everything is in relation. Use your foreground and middle ground to good effect. Play with the scale relationships of larger distant objects versus smaller closer up ones. It can lead to interesting compositions and concepts to draw from. Well, that's all you really need to know about atmospheric perspective. Coming in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be changing the format a little bit. I'll be doing a bunch of videos that are unscripted demos where I provide some commentary over the top, just touching on a lot more of the specific topics relating to doing particular things in perspective. There will be several of these videos coming out over time, so be sure to be on the lookout for any announcements that I make for any new ones that I've uploaded.